The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. By the way, I apologize for all the story Snake, stuff. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. If you don't like it, just skip ahead in the video or I guess just wait. <laughs> Commencing virtuous mission now. Another young <laughs> guy. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And snake. The giant anaconda is a very large snake, but you should be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I should probably save it at this point, just so I don't have to listen to You're saving the game, Snake? Again. Now, you're gonna see more than one game because I, uh... Let's see. So this is the one I beat. I'm gonna override that one because that's when I tried to play it again a few months ago so all right hey snake you ever heard of Godzilla King of Monsters no what is it it's a movie you haven't seen it nope it's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. 
Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. <laughs> Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why's that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? Yeah. Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, and I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Okay. Sure. While I'm on a sneaking mission, I'll be sure to watch a movie in like 1960-something. Okay, I'm gonna switch the, uh, I'm gonna switch where my, uh, is here. I'm gonna put it, put my video in a different place. Okay. Sorry about that. That way you can see the, um, you can see all the hood stuff. That bird kind of hard to catch them, but this croc and I got some food guns in it and I got some leather skin boots motherfucker and a nice leather jacket for riding my motorcycle motherfucker oh, it takes forever to get in with that Oh, 
God damn it. I apologize if this is boring, it is kind of boring, but you fucking bastard dinosaur, I guess. Tito would love this video. Okay, so my food is full already. I'm gonna eat something though, so I can... Okay, I'm also gonna save it. Just so I don't have to do this stupid shit again. Do you want to save? Mm -hmm. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? <laughs> How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. Oh. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. Okay, now I'm gonna try and jump over there. I'll probably end up dying in the quicksand, but we'll try it anyways. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, wrong button. Let's try again. Yay! I got that out of the way. Alright, now let's jump back across. Oh, it isn't so bad. <laughs> they tried to get the fucking jump on me. Didn't quite happen for it, did it? Let's eat a tree frog. Disgusting. Yep. There are some things that if you eat it, it will actually lower your uh, stamina. two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle, either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, yeah, while the Face easy. option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your they, surroundings will help you really conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. <laughs> if you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. <laughs> but if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Not okay. Let's actually go ahead and save to, even though I just saved. You want to save? Snake, have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Yeah, you told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing really them to help repair the ship. That Kojima the 3D effects were quite realistic. Really I've got all the, the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic. With the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? 
I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago? Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. <laughs> Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. Well, if it wasn't for my clone, I would still be alive. Fucking bastard. I really hope at the end of Metal Gear Solid 5, you actually meet up with your... You meet up with, um, with, um, uh, shit, fuck. Shit, fuck. You meet up with, uh, Solid Snake. Which, you would eventually. Can I shoot from here? God damn it, it won't let me... Well, let me fire my fucking gun. Oh wait, that's how. Oh. Right in the fucking head. Come on. Gun grenades are good. Only in combat situations though. Okay, so that's the end of that guy. Oh, and I gotta change my uniform, that's right. They still use this in Metal Gear Solid 4. I'm sure they use it in Metal Gear Solid 5 too. At least I hope so. Get used to this scene because it's going to happen quite often in these games. A lot more than in the uh, uh, the first two games. There's a really cool ability you can do in, um, in Metal Gear Solid 4 which is fucking amazing. SDV. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck I do I, I forgot there was a sniper rifle in this game. Well, I assume there was, but you didn't get it till later. Okay, that's that guy. Still sleeping. Okay. 
Where is that guy? Oh, there he is. Fucking head. Fucking asshole. Oh shit. There's a guy over there too. Well, oh, he's too far away. Smoke grenades are good too. Oh, yes, the thermal goggles. These are fucking amazing, too. Oh, yeah, that thing. It actually doesn't make noise in the game. It just makes noise for the player. Oh yeah, awesome. 